Dual Wielded Studio Productions. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another devlog for my game in cave. I like it, could you? You know what I'm adding in this one. Now the grappling hook is a classic phenomenon in gaming. In fact, I'll now ask you to think of your favorite game and now imagine it with a grappling hook. You see, now it's actually a good game. Minecraft, but with a grappling hook. GTA, but with a grappling hook. Coloring pixels. Uh, I'm drawing a grappling hook. They're a great addition to your movement abilities. They make you feel versatile, add range to platforming, but it also makes you feel like Spider-Man nearly every step of the way. That said, you cannot just add a grappling hook to NK. The game should feel heavy. You're carrying a lot of luggage, the combat feels hefty, the player's character isn't in perfect shape, and the areas you play in aren't very open. It's in a cave. So why would a grappling hook work? Well, first of all, I think it's important that my game makes you feel like Spider-Man. Caves have weird shapes, and they can be pretty vertical at times. Also, there's gaps everywhere, ravines exist. A grappling hook that isn't very flashy, but functions more like a climbable and swingable rope you can throw and attach to the ceiling, would allow for way more interesting platforming options, as well as a great way to allow the player to ascend and descend the more vertical spaces in the cave system, without it feeling too out of place, I guess. So I opened Photoshop, drew a rope, threw it in Unity, and added hinges to the object, allowing me to basically rotate multiple parts of the object based on physics. If there's only three hinges, the effect kind of sucks ball, but if there's enough, you get this pretty neat rope looking effect. Uh, so like I said, if you by telling the hinge joints that they are limited in how far they can each rotate, and by adding a collider, it functions well and it looks pretty decent. The only thing is, I really dislike working with physics. If the system isn't given the perfect amount of mass, stretchiness, rotation, abilityness, uh, amount of gravity, other forces, it's guaranteed to have some small mistakes here and there. Uh, as you can obviously tell right now, I attached a rope to two stalagmites and drew a backpack that could contain a healing nice. item. I wanted to play around a bit with the ropes and get to know them on a personal level. Like I just said though, I'm not a fan of relying too much on physics. Simply hanging the backpack on the rope kept it acting pretty natural. Not that natural, but okay. You know what, maybe I should just try reloading it again and now it just, what the fuck? After fiddling with it, like, like a lot, in the end it looks pretty neat, but it does feel a little out of place. Like, yes, the rope itself is made with pixel art, but the way it's animated, it just, it just feels kind of off. And that's when I thought of a game called A Short Hike, a 3D game that makes use of a pixelation filter really adds this very interesting, kind of cozy feeling to the game. But to be honest, I can also understand if it would leave you with a headache. But I thought it would be great if the ropes used this effect as well. Not the entire game, but just the ropes. They would kind of look animated and, yeah, you know what? I, instead of it just being physics, it's, it's like every single possible... I don't know, I just really like pixels. And I know you guys like them as well. <laughs> I've seen your Discord profile pics. And that looks like this. I'm honestly very happy with the effect, it's not done yet, kind of looks out of place, but that's because the pixel size isn't the same as the rest of the pixels on screen. So by making those equal, it actually looks kind of cool. Now that's all working. Perfect. What's that? That sounds like a laptop, bro. Yeah, it's done. It's here, here, you can look straight into the abyss here. New laptop, new me, baby. Damn. That's some thick guys I decided to step away from Adobe products as well. For pixel art, I now use A-Sprite, and I use Krita for drawing non-pixel art stuff. So, new laptop, new software, updated Unity, I imported in Cave, and of course... <sighs> After fixing those problems, I kind of just wanted to try out A-Sprite and quickly drew some random decorations. There's now this Navalyashka doll, which was a very popular toy in Russia back in the day. Also, Monkey now has his ripped open teddy bear hanging in their home. But Thais, haven't you mentioned many times before that you were going to work on the main mechanic first, before adding uh, random other stuff? Well, yeah, you'd technically be right. Uh... If the player comes in contact with a the rope, they can grab on. And by moving to the left and right, you should be able to apply force into those directions, making you swing. Now, I haven't worked on animations yet, so it will probably look pretty dumb. Uh, so yeah, 
okay? Like I said, the constant running animation might look a bit silly, but that'll be updated soon enough. Why did my rope just have a complete- Well, physics, of course. Now, it's probably because we're applying force to the entire rope instead of the part we're holding on to. Now, Tice, why didn't you just divide the rope into separate parts that you can attach together? That way you could also easily change the length of the rope, which is needed if you want any rope in the game that isn't the exact same length as this one. Something that probably happens a lot when you use it in a grappling hook as well. Well, I can explain. Um, so basically I... So basically all we need is this 5x2 pixels part of the rope, which can constantly be repeated to create a rope in any size. The problem is since they rotate in a certain angle and since they pull slightly away from each other due to gravity stretching the entire rope all together, you get these small openings in between them. And not even pixelation would entirely fix this. I mean, swinging doesn't feel very natural, but at least it doesn't look like this. Now I fiddled a lot with swinging for a long time, it was so annoying to work with and I'll spare you the details. You see, all of this just works. What? Are you kidding? It's not, I'm not kidding. He's not kidding everybody. Now all we really still need for the rope is for the player to be able to climb and slide down as well. So if you hold down up or down, hey it works! <laughs> when did you fix it? I'm, I'm a genius and uh, what can I say? Now that ropes basically function as they should, I can use it to make, well, the thing we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Let's go! Boom. It worked! Now I'm just creating a rope at a rapid pace, instantly increasing its length. Boom. We've done it everyone. Boredom is no more. Now all I have to make is like another, what, 18 animations? And there you have it, a completely well-functioning grappling hook. <laughs> Amazing. It's obviously not finished, but it's been a pretty long time since my last devlog, so I kind of wanted to show some progress. But don't worry, the grappling hook is absolutely not the only thing I've been working on. I've, uh, well, my homeboy from Nintendo Direct can phrase it better, so uh, here you go. Oh, hey. <laughs> In cave this now on Steam, baby! Let's go! It is finally released on Steam. It's not yet released, uh, but you can wish this it now. No, wait, you must. You must wish this it now on Steam. The link is in the description. Do it now. Okay, here's the black screen. Look at your reflection. That is the face of someone who hasn't wishlisted yet. Setting up the Steam page took a lot longer than expected, like I said. I had to provide Steam with like, a, I don't know, half a billion images, most of which still had to be made. But yeah, making those images took a while. I also had to write a few paragraphs for the About page. If you wishlist the game, you'll get an email when it releases and when it might be on sale. But something important to keep in mind is that the more wishlist the game has before release, the higher the chance that Steam will promote it when it releases. And with that, the higher the chance that it would reach new players. And again, with that, the higher the chance that the game will do well, which I uh, really hope for. And that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please, when you're done wishlisting in cave, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, so that this video as well gets a bit of a higher chance to reach others. Oh, and also join my Discord server.